Listen. Hey, listen. Hey everyone. I know it took a while to come out, but this is the second part of the World of Logs rating guide. I was going to keep this particular guide all about World of Logs, however I really wanted to show you something I've been using lately, because it's really interesting to everyone, not just healers. However, a lot of the things I discuss in this guide will be central to analyzing healing done, but it's, it is the same for DPS, essentially. But first, I wanted to discuss how to analyze your individual healing. Let's start with where my first video left off and go to in your individual healing breakdown. Select the raid you want to use, the specific boss kill, and go to Healing Done, and then select your name. Alternatively, you can go to the player, the class, and your name. In this class, Player, Druid, and Keisha. The first pane is just a graph of your healing and damage done or taken. I don't really use this at all, but it shows, shows when your healing tends to spike, like on certain boss abilities that affect everyone, so obviously your healing will go up for a period. Damage by spell is worthless to healers, but if you are a DPS, obviously here's where you stop. Healers want the good stuff, so we're gonna go to focus on he we're going to focus on healing by spell and buffs cast. A druid's top spells depend on the fight, but usually it's wild growth, rejuvenation, and life bloom, and they should always be close to the top three. I tend to focus also on making efflorescence very effective, and as such, I often see it up in the top three fourths three, you know, of the healing. Um, in this case, it was second for me. The amount of healing done is completely irrelevant. What you want to look for is your uptime percent, which is at the end, and the variance of your heals. Sometimes it's also useful to look at the overhealing, especially if you find that you have mana issues. If you have issues with mana and see that 75% of your heals are overhealing, you should probably adjust how and when you're healing. It's also entirely possible that mana issues are because of gear or spell choice, so keep that in mind as well. My overhealing was incredibly minimal in our last heroic best lat kill. We were undermanning it, so I had to take a few fire rains that really hurt us. So there's not really much I can say about my overhealing on this, except for the life blooming blooming portion, which was 60%. Usually when I let life bloom bloom or roll off on the target, it's because I was running off to save someone else and had to get out of range, which on Bethelac is common with what my job is. It is usually a bad idea to let life bloom do that, so I really try to keep that area on healing done non-existent. As far as my spell variety, my f spells were fairly standard. I don't really use Nourish at all, except for once, apparently. No idea what I was thinking there. Healing Touch was only used through Nature's Swiftness, and Regrowth was used quite a bit. Um, the main reason for this was the nature of the Bethlehem fight. Hots and quick heals, lots of running. Right? That's just kind of how it is on, on Bethlehem. Uh, so keep the fight in mind when you look at the spells used. All right, now let's go over to the Buffs Cast pane. Again, this is where you look at HOTS, heals, uptime, as well as mana gains. Harmony is our mastery buff, and it should be very high, 100% ideally. But I'm happy with mine at 89%, given the nature of the fight and what I was doing. Rejuve and Life Bloom should be around 80 to 100%, since those are our staples, and both should be on the da tanker damage taker, like 100% of the time. I personally have to really focus to keep Life Bloom on tank, so my power aura is always under adjustment. I will discuss how to do this during my Resto Druid update video, which is coming soon. Wild growth should be 50 to 60% uptime because of the lapse in the cooldown or in, in timer. But you almost always need to use wild growth on cooldown. Also, as this is a 7 minute fight, you should have been able to use Trio Life and Tranquility as well as Innervate twice at the very least. So check for that as well. I failed and didn't use Tree of Life like I should have. So I used it on only at the end, but, but Tranquility I used twice, so that was fine. Also, if you are lucky enough to have Shard of Woe, check your Celerity, or the haste buff use. It is on a one minute timer, so I should have been able to use it five to six times. I used it four times. If you have any other on-use trinkets, check those as well. You can usually find what the trinket's buff name is through Wowhead if you don't already know it. I also like to optimize the use of the Nature's Grace haste buff that you get after a regrowth cast. It has an internal cooldown of 45 seconds, and I use it seven times during the fight, so I was on track with that. Also, please check how many times you've na you have used Nature Swiftness, which is a three minute cooldown. It should be twice. If you aren't using it, start. Something I also check, usually with my new cub healers, we call them cubs, but they're recruits, is I check their healing by actor. If they're supposed to be healing a specific tank or person, then I'll know something is wrong if I see that those aren't top people and those aren't the top people that they have healed. In this case, my job was to heal the Southwest Cave, where Hob was soaking boomers and spiders and all that good stuff. And I was to soak any that he couldn't take. So the top two healed are where they should be. It was Hob and me. 
Also, since it is such a raid-heavy fight, my healing should be fairly well spread out amongst everyone, which it is. If we go to Velo's chart, we'll see that his top three were Lore, Rick, and himself, which is the way it should be. He healed Lore more because that was his job to follow him upstairs. He heals himself a lot because he's a pally and gets heals from other heal heals and because he's broken. So there's the basics on how to analyze your or others' healing. The same process can be used for DPS, but I won't presume to show you how to do that since I'm not one. On certain fights like Heroic Rag or Heroic Raya, where you undermine the healing, so extraneous damage is really important to avoid, it's helpful to also understand where to look up who takes the most damage. So go to a specific fight, we're going to use Ryo in this one, to go to damage taken, click on the tank or someone else, go to damage by spell. At the bottom there will be a list of spells that the person has taken damage from. In this case, magma flow is avoidable for the most part, so we really try to keep that damage down. Click on that and you will get a list of actors or characters that have taken damage from it. You want to keep the number as small as possible, obviously. We also use this on engulfing flames and lava way for heroic rag, since it keeps people accountable for what they're doing. This mindset is very useful when you aren't using as many healers as you should. Heroic rag we're using four, we might have to drop to three. So any extra damage taken by anyone is counterproductive. And so ends my second World of Logs guide. The next video that I'm going to post is going to show not World of Logs, but how to use World of Logs to compare yourself to others. So be on the lookout for that.